a series of 200 topics on speaking. Today's topic is favorite subject. Question number one, what kind of school did you go to? I went to a public high school. I chose this school because it was close to home and had a good academic reputation. Furthermore, the school provided a variety of extracurricular activities and clubs that allowed me to pursue my interests. Question number two, what was your favorite subject in school? English was my favorite subject in school. I had a lot of fun learning about literature, writing, and grammar. These topics were interesting and challenging to me, which made them more enjoyable to learn. Question number three, what was your favorite subject as a child? Science was my favorite subject as a child. I enjoyed learning about the natural world and performing science experiments in particular. Science was the perfect subject for me because I was always curious and wanted to know how things worked. Question number four, which is your favorite subject now? English is currently my favorite subject. I enjoy reading and writing. And I find that English allows me to express myself in new and meaningful ways. I also enjoy discussing literature and having in-depth discussions about language and writing. Question number five, which part of the course do you enjoy most? The writing component of the course is my favorite part of it. I enjoy being able to put my thoughts and ideas down on paper. And it's very satisfying to be able to write an essay or a story and see it come to life. Writing also aids in my understanding and processing of my own thoughts and feelings, which can be very empowering. Question number six, what subject are you studying? I am currently a university student studying English literature and creative writing. I'm also taking some philosophy and psychology classes. English literature and creative writing are my passions, and I enjoy learning about literature and creative writing techniques. Furthermore, I believe that studying philosophy and psychology will help me gain a better understanding of the world and myself. Question number seven, what are you studying now? I am currently a university student studying English literature and creative writing. I chose this major because I am interested in literature and creative writing and want to learn more. I also believe that learning about these topics will help me gain a better understanding of the world and myself. In addition, I'm taking a few extra philosophy and psychology classes to better understand how we think and how the world works. Question number eight, why do you like this subject? I enjoy this subject because it helps me understand how the world works and how complex systems interact with one another. It can assist us in better understanding how economics, politics, and cultures interact and influence one another, allowing us to make better decisions about our own lives and the world around us. Question number nine, what do you like most about this subject? I like how this subject allows me to delve deeper into the world. It teaches me how different aspects of the world are linked and how the decisions we make can affect the larger system. I also enjoy the challenge of figuring out how to analyze data in order to draw conclusions and make predictions. Question number 10. What is your area of specialization? My area of specialization is international relations, with a focus on understanding the interactions between different nations and how their policies affect each other. I also have an interest in the history of international relations and how different events have shaped the world we live in today. Question number 11. Why did you choose to study that? I chose to study international relations because I wanted to learn more about how different countries interact with one another and how their decisions affect the rest of the world. I also wanted to gain a better understanding of different nations' historical contexts and how their actions have shaped the world we live in today. Question number 12. Why did you choose that particular course? I chose this course because it gave me a broad view of international relations. It covered things like international law and diplomacy, international trade and finance, and international security. It also gave me a chance to learn about international relations in the real world by doing things like simulations and debates. Question number 13. Is it a difficult subject to study? It is up to the individual. Some people find studying easier than others. It is critical to comprehend the material and put it into practice. Anyone can master the subject with enough effort and dedication. Question number 14. What would you like to change in your school or university? More ways for students to learn, like hands-on projects, field trips, and experiential learning would be great. I also believe that more technology and resources should be available in the classroom. In addition, I would like to see more efforts made to make learning more equitable and accessible to all students. Question number 15. How do you think education is helpful to shape a person's life? 
education shapes a person's life by providing knowledge, skills, and resources for navigating life's challenges. It also helps people understand their surroundings, build relationships, and learn how to think critically and solve problems. Education can help people reach their full potential and open doors to success in their personal lives and careers. Question number 16. Are you friends with many other students on your course? Yes, I'm friends with many of my classmates on my course. We frequently collaborate on assignments and assist each other in understanding difficult concepts. We also share our experiences and offer each other support when needed. Question number 17. Do you have to do further studies in the future? It all depends. I may need to take additional courses, attend seminars or workshops, and or obtain certifications depending on the field and career I choose. To remain competitive, it is critical to keep up with industry changes and to continue learning. Question number 18. Do you think your country has an effective education system? It depends on who you ask. My country's education system has both strengths and weaknesses. I believe that improvements can be made to ensure that all students have access to quality education and resources and have the opportunity to reach their full potential. The text of all the questions and answers is available in the description.